Hey everyone, welcome back to our scenes. In today's video, we are going to learn how to draw heart in very simple way. Uh, since heart is very very important, uh, it has appeared in almost all the board papers for the previous and you know the before last year. So let's get started to draw. First, we are going to start with the lower half of the heart. That is the lower part. We need to give the shaping first. The shaping looks something like V. Just that it is slightly bowed and slightly larger. Okay. So, it's having this uh, curving part. Instead of straight V, it's having this curvy nature. And this lower part is not pointed but slightly curved. Next, see this ends. At this ends, what we are going to do is, we are going to do something like S. See, this way it looks S. And here, on both the sides, we are going to do this. Next, we are going to start with the chambers of the heart. So, just see here that... You are actually going with the, with your outer line, okay, my outer line of the heart, just as you are going up, you will come to a point and you will meet, okay, so I will just make this little narrower, okay, so <clears throat> after reaching a certain point here, what you are supposed to do is, you are supposed to give this a little curvature on both the sides, leaf like pattern. Okay, so just that and after that you are supposed to take this in a curvy way. And you are going to extend it till top later we can rub it if it is excess okay if it's more than necessary then later we can rub it so for now we are just going to keep it extra okay next we have drawn this s right so from this i just trace you know go towards the inward side of the s and then from here go to the somewhere in the mid section okay and this point and this point you have to join like this. Same goes for this side. Come up. Come somewhere till the middle. And then use this to join. Okay. Then next. In this leaf like pattern. In front of this leaf like pattern. You need to draw another leaf okay and see here the stem should surpass see the stem is surpassing here and it is going and meeting this line just stop it there okay wherever it is meeting same thing you have to do for the other side but instead of joining here we are going to run a line parallel to this one so it will look something like this okay and then i'll take this line and i'll make it run parallel till a certain height because uh, I'll later i might need to rub this only till a certain height i'll be doing later so don't keep your pencils very dark or you know don't press it harder because when you rub it it will leave a mark there Okay, so I'll just reach till a certain height and I'll stop it. Now, just see over here. See where this line ends. Just go straight to that. And from this particular part, draw something curved. Okay, draw something curved double line. And this thing, na, whatever extra I'm having beyond reaching this, I'll rub that. 
and I'll turn this towards inside. See here, I'm curving it so that it looks as if it is running inside. Clear? Now, next, just leave a little gap. Move towards downwards. Okay, backwards that is. And then draw double line which runs parallel to this. Clear? Okay. Now next thing. What I am supposed to do is. This is my. Okay. This is the one which I have drawn first. This is going inside. So I am going to draw. Something like your. You know a stylish V or a curved line like. See it like this. And then I am going to make it double. Okay, and then at this particular point, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to draw a small double V. Okay, this shows that this is dividing further. Not clearer. Okay, so small double with this shows that this is dividing again into two parts. Then next, see here somewhere from middle of this, see here this is my, the is what I have drawn. Somewhere from middle of this, what I am going to do is, I am going to pull it like this and draw it. And then further again, I am going to make it double. And what you have done here, now the same thing I will be doing here, I will be drawing a, we opening here which shows that this is dividing into two. So this part is over. We are going to come over here now. Now see here you have uh, drawn this particular intersection uh, where you are curving inside. Okay. Just uh, go straight of that. Over here. Go a little below that. Okay. Straight of this. Then go a little below and then draw L. Okay. L which is a little bowed like this. This is L. And then again I am going to make it double. Clear. Next, in front of this, I am going to draw opposite L. So, this L will be starting here and it will be ending somewhere here. So, again I am going to make it double. Done. Now, see here. Where this is ending, na? this one. Right from there, I am going to pick this out. So that it looks as if it is passing from the backward part. Okay, so it looks as if this, behind this, this is passing. Same thing I will do behind this also. So what I am going to do is, I am just going to pull this up a little extra on both the sides. And then as we were doing for the rest, we. Okay, so here your heart is ready with the diagrams. What we need to do is, we need to put the arrow marks and just the finishing at the inside. So from this particular and this particular part from both the sides, what I am going to do is, I am going to draw these three lines. Okay, this shows the valves actually, the muzzles. So this has to be done for both the sides. And then comes your arrow mark. From where does the blood comes and all. So before going there what I will do is I will just do the labeling. So that becomes easier for marking. So left ventricle. This is my left side. 
according to my heart my right is left i have already explained this left atrium okay then comes my this central wall okay that is supposed to be my septum then comes my right right ventricle then this part is my right atrium then this one is vena cava from upper body and then this is vena cava from lower body then comes my aorta then yeah this ones pulmonary arteries then this particular ones are pulmonary veins okay so we'll start with my lungs okay so blood from the lungs are coming to the heart in the left side so they'll come from pulmonary veins okay as they are coming they'll from the auricle left side they'll enter the ventricle and then from the ventricle this way they are going to pass to outer from outer to the rest of the body now from the body again the blood is coming back through vena cava both the vena cavas blood is coming to the right atrium then from atrium to ventricle ventricle to your pulmonary arteries that's it that's how you are supposed to draw hope you have understood and hope you will be able to draw your diagram very much clearly now thank you for watching